Rap, rap tail on the track. On the track. Uh, 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 Hop in the whip and I hit these switches. See that chrome suspension. Uh, Look at the car, you know who did it. I don't have to mention. Uh, uh, they know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Flipping good morning, guys. How are you? Alex here from Hoppos once again with another video for you guys. So you guys saw this weekend. This weekend was uh, a little bit different change of pace for most of y'all. Uh, for me, we do a lot of different events outside of what you guys are used to seeing me doing on video and on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I hadn't normally filmed. And uh, while I'm going to kind of change things up, I want to show you guys a little different stuff outside of just the lowrider stuff as well. You know, So I'm going to kind of take you guys along the journey. There's a lot of other little gigs I do off to the side, a lot of little hustles I do, uh, like Hopping Fern, going out at uh, Hell Track with Terra Crew. Uh, we met a lot of cool people. Um, Got to give a shout out to 212 Gloves. Uh, met him out there for the first time. Super cool cat. Uh, all the guys over there at uh, at the track. And also uh, Blake Wilkie. Badass dude. Super cool and humble. I do appreciate everything this weekend. Um, but we are back to reality. We are back uh, here. We are, Actually, I skipped filming yesterday. I was just beat. I'm still beat right now. I'm still tired. Uh, it's been nonstop. Go, go, go. But uh, we got a ton and a ton orders behind us. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday we had right around 98 orders or something roll through. Uh, we are getting it. Uh, shipping is going on right behind me, uh, and they're going and they're going to town. But let's get to the back real quick and uh, show you guys what's going on. Ah, they got you set up with a whole bunch of blocks again, huh? Yep. <laughs> How many more, Natalie? A bazillion. A bazillion more. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I swear this machine has been like five years straight on blocks. On blocks. <laughs> Literally, I don't think this machine's ever came off of blocks because it's just been, we make 100, we sell 200. Yep. We make 200, we sell 400. So this thing has been nonstop. I mean, this machine doesn't know any other but its movements on a block uh, setup here. And we got this other VF2 on warm up right now. I'm gonna get some backing plates on there. And time to get to work, right? Yep. Let's go bug Vic real quick. Oh, Victor. Oh, yeah, mija, que pasó, wait. You like my Spanish? I've been practicing. practicing. I've been watching Dora. Why? Are you going to Cancun or where are you going? To... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. I don't take vacations, guys. <laughs> I don't take vacations. I'm not going anywhere. I can't. But I've been sitting over there waiting for him because I need a whole bunch of Y bones. Right there. Two? Come on. Three. Three? That's it? You know those are sold already. It is crazy. We have been uh, absolutely blessed with everything going on. We are slammed. Um, Vic's always pumping out a whole bunch of work for us. You know, you guys, you'll see us all over the place. You'll see us doing uh, cleaning the bathrooms, packing orders, welding orders, riding a scooter. We got a whole bunch of stuff, but. We gotta get to work, guys. We do. I'm just not feeling it right now. But I gotta print some more orders. Uh, notification just came through. We got about seven more that just rolled in in the last 10, 15 minutes. Time to print them. Looks like we're gonna interrupt our uh, normal broadcasting here and uh, gotta update the scrap guys coming. We kind of ran out of room a little while ago. Uh, we've been running non-stop so uh, we we're literally scrapping almost every every week now. Looks like the guys, guys have got some of the scrap bins out. So loading them up right now. Scrap day, scrap. 
scrap day. Ooh, ooh, must. All right, so we just got rid of all that scrap. Um, that was a nightmare going back and forth, getting everything uh, in the truck, but it's done. The guys took care of it. What we're working on now is some little mini tanks. We got a single port on here. Everything else has been molded fully smooth. Um, these ones have been kind of kicking our butt just because of how small they are. They're only eight inches from top to bottom, um, but they're a little hard to handle and actually clean up and weld and sand because by the time you put your hand on here, yeah, very little space to actually work on. So uh, we've been playing with these for a little bit. This is for a customer based out of Vegas. Uh, we got four of them here. Uh, we've on the final stages of, of it right now. I'm hoping to get, I got metal shavings everywhere. I'm hoping to get them done today. That's the goal. Um, I just drilled the first hole right now. So we got this guy cranked over to, uh, let's see, right about 12 degrees. So we're running this at a 12 degree cut. Coming in, just doing a, small 3 8 hole for right now um, and the way this is gonna work is let me uh, switch hands here I need to get these caps and tank plugs on here on the same exact spot on every single one uh, we do have this jigged up right now to where this is on the stop so this will repeat this is the first hole I haven't moved it since we started cutting off of here um, so now I gotta actually build a little jig off of here and I've never done this before, but I'm actually going to weld, uh, I'm just going to tack weld using our miller. I'm going to tack weld on the actual mill itself, on the manual mill. Um, that way I could keep this guy jigged without having to build a whole separate jig and jig table. Um, I know it's in the same exact spot because, well, let me show you guys here. If it didn't fit, that means this wouldn't fit in there. So as long as we know that this is the same exact spot every single time I put the tank plug in the same spot, same spot every time, it's going to repeat. That way all four are exactly matching because they are going to be standing right next to each other. So I got to build a whole jig off of here. Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Since we moved, I haven't really had time to really venture off into the machine shop. Um, I do a lot of the manual stuff. I don't do the CNC stuff. That's Art's gig. Uh, I do the manual, a lot of the manual, and I haven't got to play with it very much. And since we moved, stuff just kind of in boxes everywhere. So I got to figure out where my pieces that I need are. Uh, somewhere, somewhere here, somewhere. I don't know. I'll figure that out right now. We managed to get the leaning tower of sketchiness. Okay, for some reason, I don't know where all the T-bar sliders went. So it's really hard for me to jig stuff up when I only have one. But whatever, it's done. <laughs> It don't look the prettiest, but I just need to get four pieces done, welded exactly the same, and this is how we're gonna do it right here. So the holes line up perfect. We are exactly at, from front to back, we're at six inches on here. Divide that in half. We are lined up, we are solid. Let's just get a tack on this back hole. And of course, I just moved it. <laughs> yeah, let me get this back in place now. It's hard to do things with my helmet when it hits on a knob. But... Touching, retouching. Let's try this again, guys. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna get one tag on it. We're gonna leave it like that. Take this off. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this guy loosened up here. That's the bad part, I gotta do this for all four. All right, loosened up. Still don't fit. Yeah, it's a little more. All right. This is what we're looking at right here. This is what the customer wanted. Fill port at an angle. His specific size, eight, to, uh, eight inches top to bottom. So here's gonna be one reservoir. Uh, we're gonna have to probably just clean this up just a little bit. I got some a little bit of oils on here, so I'll have to clean it up before we make it or dig it. Sorry, uh, but we got one done. So we're gonna put this off to the side for now. Get the next one in. Alright, so, 
touching the back here, back here, the back stop. Oh, my hand is working out. There we go. Pop a hole in this bad boy. Surprise! Right, it clears. Barely clears. A little oil in there. Cutting fluid, actually, not oil. I have it going real slow right now. I have it only going uh, 150 RPM just to keep the vibration down so I don't have my jig over. Um, again, this is very temporary to see how we normally do it, but I couldn't find the sliders. And I know we don't draw the angle like this, but this is just for this one, uh, this one setup right here. Nice and slow. So crazy every time I do stuff like this on uh, on camera it looks like the tools actually spinning backwards it's like when you see rims spinning all right turn it off up here So we just got the second one tacked up. I normally don't like tacking with MIG if I'm gonna take it, um, but in this case, this is all that reaches over here. Coming from way on the other side of the building. So this is the only one that's gonna reach. So this is gonna have to do right here. It's working so far. This is on the second one right now. Uh, took off my ground here. Kinda sucks I have to disassemble it every single time, but it's working decent. Got that tight. We're on our stop here. Everything's touching there. Time to pop a hole in here. Again, we're taking it nice and slow here. Not going to any crazy speeds or nothing like that. I want to make sure to keep the vibration down to minimum. Keep the table rocking to a minimum. I'm just going to bra barely brace or brace through uh, this tank. You guys can kind of see there just broke through yeah we got all four tacked up here all four identical all facing the same direction angle uh, measurement and everything so we're good on these this was the hardest part I was worried about was actually matching up the actual bung that way when I weld it all the welds are exactly the same and uh, when they're facing let me grab this guy real quick when they're facing this way that everything is matching so I'm actually very happy and pleased the way these came out so far. Um, now I just gotta safely and gently take these over to the TIG station. I'm gonna get a TIG, I'm a, a TIG tack on the opposite side over here to keep everything from rocking. I'm gonna hit all four of these real quick. Uh, once they're all good, and then I'll come in and actually start buzzing them all the way around. So we got all four here now. Um, I'm just gonna put a tack on the opposite side. I only did a single tack while I was over there in the machine slash jig. So I'm gonna come in and do a single tack on the opposite side, keep it from rocking and moving. Then we're gonna be sure to start and weld and match each one up. Um, honestly, I didn't want to grab my trap welder right now. I had it in the truck. I'm filming this weekend, but I just figured, hey, you know what? I'm gonna show a video on this. Uh, you know, there's not too many videos on how to build my custom tanks like this. And I already had half of it done and I didn't film that part, but you, know, you guys kind of get an idea of it. Um, yeah, let's get going now. Yeah. 
all four are officially done here. Whew, they're still a little warm, but kind of show you guys what the bungs and the wells look like. Everything's fully ticked. And I got rods falling left and right here. A little unorganized for this video. This video was unexpected, but I had to finish these guys up. I got to let them cool down and come in and just chase all these guys, make sure all the threads are good. I put all those on right now so we know those are good. Um, so other than this, once we're all done, after the chasing, clean them up, wrap them up, get them in a box, ship them out to Vegas, and let the customer finish off his setup from there. So these are definitely fun. These are different. Uh, these will be standing, I forget they're hot, but these will be standing vertical. There you go. I try to hurry up and just rush it real quick. So they'll be standing like that. No, more like that. So I believe it was a four pump gravity fed setup or this guy, he's probably actually doing pescos or something with these, but that'll be pretty cool. We've done a few tanks for uh, this customer in the past. Um, these ones have definitely been the hardest ones. They've kicked my butt for sure. Uh, just because they're so small, they're hard to work with. They're hard to grind. They're hard to mold. Um, it was just very, very awkward. Even though it was less material, it actually took us longer to do these ones. I'll tell you what, don't be hitting us up for no more 8-inch tanks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, these are all gun. Um, gotta get them cooled down, get them over to uh, the shipping crew, and they'll take care of it from there. All done, guys. All done. Just a little warm. Just waiting for them to cool down completely so I could get a little better handle, get these all tapped up cleaned up. Uh, I'm normally not too worried about these, but I just want to clean out some of the little wilding balls and stuff that came that were stuck in there. Um, other than that, we're ready to roll. Move on to the next project. Oh, it looks like he means business. I gotta get out of his way. Are you in a hurry? I almost got ran over. <laughs> well, I'm just pushing my little cart through here, guys. Dang, I literally missed the shipping on this by like 10 minutes, but these will make it out tomorrow. I missed the shipping. Oh wow. We'll ship it tomorrow. Uh, no big deal. It's already late anyway, so we'll get that out tomorrow. Now we're going to get back on other projects, which do more videos on that later. But again, thank you guys always for liking, sharing, subscribing. Make sure you guys always hit the bell notification, like, share, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Again, like I always say, like every other YouTuber says, right? So please do. Um, it helps out the channel, helps out the page grow. Uh, we gotta get to work. I gotta restock a whole bunch of stuff with the guys. Hoppos, hoppos. Uh, uh, Custom work come from hoppos, hoppos, hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Taylor, 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex stay with fresh content. And he keep it coming like a slideshow. Never cut corners, far as I know. But he cut.